Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Orlando Informer and it's an exciting day at Universal. They're opening a new quick service restaurant right behind me. So it's tucked away in City Walk. You can see the entrance to City Walk is right here from the parking garages. And then if you go upstairs, tucked away in this corner is the new Bao Bun restaurant. It's called Ben the Bao um, and it's replacing a sushi restaurant. So we're gonna check out every single Bao. So make sure you stick around to the end. I am gonna rank each of the Bao Buns, but this is a brand new venue. It just opened today, again, replacing the sushi venue that was here. And it's very popular. It's always tough to tell on these first days if it's guests that are excited because it's the first day of a new restaurant or if it's this you know, random guest that just decided to eat a Bao Bun today. But we will come get a shot of the menu here. So the hours are 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily right now. They did originally say 10.30, so that's been changed since it was announced yesterday. And here is the menu, two bao buns. You can pick any two for $11.99 or $4.49 for an extra bao bun. And this is a sticker over the beverage menu here, so I think they'll eventually have more beverage options, but today they just have the basics. First impressions of the outside. This whole outside design is new for Ben the Bao, and I gotta say I really like it. It's got the zodiac symbols, and it is really colorful. So as far as like fitting into City Walk, I think it fits in really well. You can see Bread Box right there, another one of my favorites at City Walk. And Moe's and Panda Express and Burger King have a really long line today. Uh, a lot of people are excited to get that. But this is kind of the more quick service options at City Walk, and then the other quick service option is Hot Doug Hall of Fame. So I did mention I do have some help trying the bow buns. Uh, Trevor ate a lot on the Orlando former team. Woo, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, it's gonna help me try them. We were both discussing before the video that bow buns are one of our favorite foods. Yeah, I'm really excited they actually brought them to City Walk. Like that's a really good replacement for sushi. So. And previously, I think the best bow bun at Universal was Aventura Rooftop. Oh, uh, yes. Oh my gosh, but did they? They they sure. temporarily removed them. I yeah, think I don't know yeah, if they if they'll be so. so Aventura reopens this month. I think yeah. So we'll so, see. so we'll see if they're back. Test. But otherwise, bow buns right back here are a great option. So a lot of these videos, I've been uh, asking others to share a fun fact, but I thought I would share a fun fact about Trevor to kind of change it up. So in addition to Trevor being our video editor, and he probably won't want me to say this, but he's also a really good. Nope. Here is all six of the bow buns. Like I said, we ordered one of each off the menu. I'm gonna rank them for you guys. The one I'm probably most excited for is the kimchi fried chicken, which is the one right here, which has got kimchi butter, cucumber, scallion, and sriracha aioli. And then right over here is the Maryland crab cake, I believe. Or yeah, Maryland style crab cake, shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, and mustard aioli. Uh, and then right next to it is the pork belly, which it has pork belly, scallions, cucumber, honey roasted peanuts. That's, that's unique. I don't know if you frequently see that. And then cilantro. I skipped this one over here. This one, is the duck, which is braised duck, kimchi slaw, XO sauce, cilantro, and five spice aioli. Lots of aiolis is what I'm learning. Over here is the shrimp, which has fried shrimp, shredded cabbage, avocado, pico de gallo, and chipotle crema. I can't wait for the comments of me pronouncing these ingredients. It's gonna be, do your worst internet, do your worst. Over here is the beef brisket, which is the fried jalapeno, pickled red onion, cilantro, avocado, lime, crema. And then I think the last one that I haven't shown you guys is the veggie. We actually had Michaela come out earlier and try the veggie and she really enjoyed it. It has roasted oyster mushrooms, spinach, sweet potato, caramelized onions, smoked ricotta cheese, and tom tomatillo salsa. Trevor, on a scale of one to 10, how do you think I did pronouncing the menu ingredients? You missed a few things, but overall I'd give you a seven. Ten. That's a C. That's a C. I passed. I hope I do better eating them than I did pronouncing the ingredients. Here's a little behind the scenes of Trevor shooting a picture of the veggie with his camera. Okay, he's also going to try the veggie. It doesn't look appealing. You probably can't hear him because my the mic is facing my direction. So what I'm going I'm going to translate for Trevor. He said visually it doesn't look the best out of the bao buns, but Michaela had really high praises for it this morning. So we'll see what it tastes like. Visually, looks a little messy. It is a little messy, but it tastes really, really good. I'm actually surprised at how much I like this. There's mushrooms inside. Gosh, I don't know if you want to look at this after I bit it. Oh, there's mushrooms, there's spinach, there's sweet potato, some onion. It all went together really, really well, actually. And I'm a huge fan of bao buns, just to be clear. Like, I think we mentioned that at the beginning of this video. So this is, might be heavily biased, but I will eat anything in a bao bun. So I don't care what it is. It could be spaghetti. It'd be good. How do you feel about bao bun quality? It is fluffy. It's soft. It's not 
overcooked or, or over steamed did that make sense like it's not like crunchy it just it's the perfect amount of fluffiness so this is the kimchi fc i am being a little presumptuous in assuming that the fc stands for fried chicken because it does have kimchi fried chicken uh, in it as the main ingredient like i said this is the one i'm most excited for that's really tasty so trevor was right the balbun quality supreme i'd give it a 10 out of 10 balbun fluffiness and the chicken tastes really good as well. I've tried a lot of things at my time at Universal. I've uh, I've done every ice cream, every voodoo donut, uh, every Tusa milkshake, a lot of things. My number one tip would be don't eat the, like the first thing you're trying, you can't just have the full thing because you fill up on the first item and then it's just, where do you go from there? You know, it's just not setting yourself up for success. However, I'm gonna break that rule and have this full kimchi FC, it's that good. And so really high praises off of the start with the new bowel of the restaurant here. I'm going to try the duck. It's a braised duck. It has kimchi slaw, uh, exo sauce. I'm not sure if that's right, but I'm going to say exo slaw, sauce, <laughs> cilantro, and five spice aioli. You I'm a huge fan of duck. I, I definitely did. For the health and safety of the Hello. Hello. I love duck. This, and maybe I've tried duck uh, somewhere else and it, they had it flavored completely differently. But this almost tastes a little bit like crab, which kind of caught me off guard. I'm not sure if that's... I'm not eating the crab cake because it's right there. I know it's not the crab cake. What if we're wrong, but, what if Yeah, we could be wrong. <laughs> Roast this in the comments. It's fine. All in all, I do really enjoy it. It has a really good flavor. It just wasn't what I was expecting. And when I smelled it before I ate it, I was like, oh, this is a little weird. It smells like a crab. And it kind of does. So I found that a little odd. So upon further review, I took another bite when we stopped rolling. I think it's because it was sitting next to the crab in the tray. This is much better. I took a second bite, didn't taste like crab at all. Tastes like duck, just like I'm familiar with. I retract my previous statement, it is very good. I definitely try it out. I will admit, this next one I'm slightly nervy about. So internally at Orlando Informer, uh, we've shortened nervous to nervy. So it, you know, represents nervousness. And this is the pork belly, but it has peanuts, I believe, right Trevor, peanuts? Inside of it. I think that's a really unique addition. And I think I mentioned that when I was talking through them, but you can see it kind of inside there. This one is incredibly tasty as well. I'll let you know, the reason I was nervous about the peanuts is because I just don't eat peanuts a lot. I'm not a big nuts kind of on anything, really. But this really, it really adds to the flavor. The The combination of the nuts with the pork belly is phenomenal. I'm really impressed. Um, I'd get this one again as well. Also, City Walk's playing my favorite AJR song right now called Dear Winter. Um, so this is a really emotional moment for me with being pleasantly surprised by the pork belly and with my favorite AJR song. Trying the crab cake. It's Maryland crab cake. It's speaking of crab cake, by the way, because I just mentioned that the duck tasted like crab, which it doesn't. So now that your mouth's full, what exactly makes a Maryland crab a Maryland crab? Mm, it's great because I can edit this out. That's a great question. The crab comes from Maryland. Anyways, it tasted very good. I really did enjoy it. This does taste like crab as well. I really enjoyed the flavors. The mustard aioli is like really good on it. I don't know if crab cakes normally come with mustard aioli, but for this bun specifically, highly recommend as well. You definitely have to be a seafood lover to enjoy something like this as well. Now I'm trying the beef brisket. I'm really looking forward to the jalapenos and the cilantro and the onions. This is my dream bao bun, I think. I, I don't know, it just looks so flavorful. Check that out. Mm -hmm. I like spicy food, so the jalapenos don't really phase me, but it's definitely there. There's some spice to it. If you don't like spicy food, either pick them off or simply don't try them, period. But I think something that's really unique that I forgot about was the avocado lime crema. It is perfect on this bao bun. I don't know why, it's just all perfectly molding together to create this nice bao bun piece of heaven. It's so good, it's so good. We have reached the last bao bun, uh, number six is the shrimp. It has got fried shrimp at the top, a little bit of avocado, some shredded cabbage, um, and a chipotle crema? Crema? Couldn't tell you. This one is very tasty as well. It's got a mild kick to it. It's not super spicy, but it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Um, so just keep that in mind, but I, I find it really tasty. I, I'm impressed. I haven't been unimpressed with a single bao bun today that I've tried. So let's rank them. Our journey has almost come to an end uh, trying every bao bun at Ben the Bao. But as promised, Ooh. we're going to rank each one. I would say, well, I guess overall thoughts first. I kind of indicated a second ago, but every single bao bun I tried was really good. The bun itself, very, very fluffy, soft. All the ingredients tasted fresh. And we're kind of coming 
to their credit, we're coming in the middle of the day. It's four o'clock right now. They open at 11. So, and they are a little busy, but I mean, I would kind of expect maybe some ingredients to be sitting out for a while and, and it didn't taste like that. Everything tasted really fresh and I was overall really impressed. I never really went to the sushi venue previously. So I think this is a great addition at CityWalk. But anyways, without further ado, unless you have any overall thoughts. No, I okay. agree with everything you just said. So without further ado, we're going to do reverse order. And also in a previous clip, I said six and I meant seven bell buns. I just can't count apparently. So number seven, Trevor. Yes. Uh, number seven, unfortunately, was the crab cake. I want to be clear. All of this is really good. But if I was going to choose one bao bun, that would be at the bottom of my list simply because crab isn't my favorite meal anyways. Sad. Uh, number six is the veggie, which is the only vegetarian option at the venue. I will say Michaela, I mentioned was on our team and she came out right at the opening for this restaurant and she really liked the veggie so if you're a vegetarian don't be sad that the veggie is ranked at six because I mean it really impressed our resident vegetarian you still have hope vegetarians but yeah it was number six for us and again I mean all these are really good so I think it's just a matter of which one's the best like there wasn't anyone that we were unimpressed with I agree number five was the duck only because the first bite for me tasted like crab, which is not what I expected. The second bite didn't, but I'm just not sure why that was. I still enjoyed it immensely. If you like duck, get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed, but it's number five simply because I think there were some really, really good buns coming up. So we're, we're getting into, I would say everything above this, I would come back and get in a heartbeat. Any of these, just depending on my mood, I would definitely choose. So the next one, number four, is the shrimp. I was really impressed by it. It had, again, that mild kick. There wasn't anything bad about it. It just wasn't quite as good as these next few. And also, I think another really cool thing about this venue is they inherently price it for two. So I don't even know, I'm sure they would sell you one if you wanted, but like uh, the way they position it on the menu is it's, you know, $11 or whatever it was. Yeah, $11.99 for two. So you're gonna try two anyway. So if you like shrimp, fried shrimp, I think it's a great option, but it just wasn't the top three. Speaking of top three, we're getting into our top three. Do we have any like dramatic music or anything like that switches when the top three comes? Again, top three. The beef brisket was incredible. And Taylor did not get to try that but I vouch for it to be in the top three just because the uh, avocado lime crema sauce lined up perfectly with the meat. It just all combined to make this really nice, tasty, like, piece of heaven. I think I might have said, I said it for one of them. They're all pieces of heaven in my mind, but I liked the jalapenos. It gave it a little bit of a kick. The beef brisket was cooked to perfection. It kind of got a crispy bite, but I'm not sure if that was a jalapeno or the meat, but regardless, it was really pleasant all around, so I really enjoyed that one. So two, I think was the surprising one of the day, in my opinion, it was the pork belly with the peanuts. I, I was blown away by it. I thought it was, the, the flavor profile was really good. It was super tasty. I would get it again. You know, I already mentioned it, but it's the peanuts with the, the pork. I mean, I really thought it was great. And it reminded Trevor of his favorite pork he's ever had, I think is what he said. Something like that. It was really good. <laughs> I did take a bite off the end because I just, I, I wanted to try it for myself. I'm a huge pork belly fan in general. Um, I was not disappointed. It was fantastic. Like Taylor said, with the peanuts, perfect flavor profile. And this is some place that if I was visiting Universal, I would leave the parks to come and eat here. It's just that good. A hundred percent. And there's not that many in City Walk quick service wise that I could say that for. Breadbox, I would sometimes leave the park for. But other than Breadbox, there wasn't a ton of quick service options. So it's great to have a second quick service option to leave the park for. I think you would probably need to get like three for dinner. Yeah. Maybe four. But yeah, it's a dinner option as well. Number one, if you've been playing along at home, you've probably crossed off each one of the menu and you already know what number one is, but it's the uh, Kimchi FC. It was the one I was most excited for and it definitely did not disappoint. It was really, really, really good. The chicken, I eat a, a, like some of my colleagues and friends make fun of me for the amount of chicken I eat and I'm not, I'm not sorry about it. You know, like I just, I enjoy a good fried chicken and it was really, really tasty. So that is our top seven at Bend the Bow. Again, it is uh, 11 to 10 every day right now. It's located up here on the second floor of City Walk. And we'll see you in the next video, unless Trevor has anything to, to end. I didn't give you a...